JC Penney uh, doesn't have aisles. They have uh, demilitarized zones. <laughs> Maryland legalized marijuana, and we made a joke. The joke was finally there was something to do in Maryland. Well, Marylanders responded in force. I think they were just happy to have something to do. <laughs> I was told uh, to visit Ocean City. I was told Maryland has the best aquarium, the best seafood spice rub, and the best state flag. I looked up the state flag. This is the Maryland state flag, pretty cool. So cool, I asked if it wanted to hang out and it said it couldn't because it's too busy. <laughs> uh, we said the uh, midterms were uh, less of a red wave and more of a red wedding if uh, Donald Trump showed up as a dragon and burned it all to a crisp. A lot of throners out there told me that, you know, there wasn't a dragon at the Red Wedding. But if Donald Trump was a dragon, which he was in our analogy, I think he would show up whether or not he was supposed to be there. <laughs> this is a man who shows up to weddings uninvited all the time. We've established that about him. Also, I try to really hammer this home. When I'm speaking as Trump, I would just invite you not to correct errors there because I'm speaking as Trump would. <laughs> so as Trump, I referred to Frankenstein, and a lot of you said, Frankenstein's monster. That would be so jarring if that was a detail Donald Trump got right. <laughs> this is a man who once referred to Tim Cook, the CEO of Apple, as Tim Apple. That's not a guy who says Frankenstein, Frankenstein's monster, of course. <laughs> the correct way to say it. The great Mary Shelley. <laughs> Married to Percy Bysshe Shelley. My favorite of the romantics. I get romantic just thinking about him. <laughs> Ozymandias, that's a poem. My favorite two lines, my name is Ozymandias, king of kings, look on my works, ye mighty, and despair. The only two lines I've ever read of the poem. Pretty good message there. Put your name on stuff and they'll never forget you. Oh, we talked about if Donald Trump was on American Ninja Warrior. And I will say our graphics department went above and beyond. There was some confusion, and we just wanted them to take a cutout photo of Trump and do this animation, but they actually made it look like a video game. It's wonderful, but some of you had issues with it. Let's take a look, and then the rest of you can guess while you're watching what the issue was from the jackals. Let's take a look. The criticism, he wouldn't make two. It's so hot. Are you hot today in here? <laughs> um, all right, so we said we brought a gopher in for a photo shoot, but the gopher wouldn't drink a beer because he was a Mormon. That was an error of mine. He wasn't a Mormon, he was a marmot. <laughs> and he did say it, but they are hard to understand because there's, when they, talk, the gap in their front teeth makes like a whistling sound. <laughs> a marmot, if you don't know, are large uh, ground squirrels who eat berries, lichens, and moss, but don't drink alcohol, coffee, or tea. It's not religious, it's just like where are they gonna get it? Speaking of that, while discussing the gopher. I was very un unprofessional last week during corrections. I started laughing very hard. I couldn't complete a sentence. And that's not what corrections is about. <laughs> what happened was I sort of played out in my head <laughs> what would go down if our security guys, Jim and John, would have to escort a drunk gopher out of the building. 
And then I, in my head, I thought it would be funny if Jim said, look out for his teeth. Now, <laughs> why that became really funny to me, and I'm trying not to let that happen this minute, Jim and John are exceptional security guards. <laughs> exceptional. With that said, that's not their best skill. <laughs> their best skill is busting each other's balls. <laughs> and I know from history that if a gopher bit John, Jim would never let him <laughs> forget about it. Every day, I'd be walking downstairs with them, and Jim would say, like, I'm gonna go out first, make sure there's no gophers there for John. <laughs> John asked me to... <laughs> John wants me to go check for gophers first. <laughs> and then John would, John would love telling you, if a gopher bit John, I'll tell you, those teeth, Seth. <laughs> I went right through my pant leg. Two holes. I told you to look out for his teeth. <laughs> it's, it is, no, it is hot. You don't think? <laughs> oh, uh, this was a nice comment. Uh, my wife hates you and hates the corrections vids even more than your usual stuff. And all I will say is, she sounds like a keeper. Uh, we referred to an Italian fashion designer as Bruno Cuccinelli. That was incorrect. His name is Bruno Cuccinelli's Monster. <laughs> Brunello. And this is one where everybody in the room... I saw so Emily, our, our, our Closer Look producer, who is really on these sort of things, and is certainly on the surface the most fashionable of everybody who works in that room. This is one she should have caught, and I think she feels terrible about it. We're not gonna beat her up on it, but like, you can't ask, like, Shoemaker, when you ask Shoemaker about, like, luxury shoe designers, he's like, Floorsheim. <laughs> I got one saying about shoes. The ceiling is Floorsheim. <laughs> and then Sal has to pretend like he doesn't know because he's secret rich and he doesn't want, like, you know, Oh my God, the hoops this Sal goes through to be secret rich is so, I mean, we all have to like pretend like, oh, here comes Sal and his Mets hats, New Balance shoes. <laughs> but he's got like, he's, like, he's got this Gristidis bag he carries around with him. And like, you look at it, it's like Ferragamo shoes, Omega watch. <laughs> um, we said uh, Obama, if Obama was at the uh, top of Mount Everest, he would uh, be wearing shades and, and smoking a cigarette. Here's the, the photo uh, graphics made. Now you might know the weird thing about being at the top of Mount Everest <laughs> would be the big old mountain behind it that's taller. Um, we said, um, Scollins made a joke about uh, there was a, someone broke a world record by making the world's largest sushi roll, uh, sushi roll, excuse me, and then we said, now the bad news and showed a picture of Shamu. Uh, orcas are mammals, so they wouldn't be good. This is what you guys told me. They wouldn't be good for sushi. It would be good for like a tartar. Also, uh, Shamu died in uh, the 70s. <laughs> Jonestown. <laughs> Maybe the gopher, like, could the gopher have, like, chewed through the um, cord to the AC? <laughs> I mean, I don't think I'm crazy. Do you think I'm crazy? What else, what else? <laughs> oh, I know I'm hot, I did 50 push-ups. <laughs>